Understanding measurement and levels of measurement is central to understanding the scientific method and especially the quantification of data for testing hypotheses. The deductive research process, unlike the research process outlined in qualitative methods and observation, the inductive method, is typically quantitative. It is often simply called the scientific method or the logico-deductive method. It involves the translation of abstract theory into clear definitions of concepts and in ways that the theory can be tested with data. A first step in this is conceptualization, which is really specifying exactly what it is we mean by a term. A next step is operationalization. Here we specify exactly the operations that we that will be used to create or indicate the value of a case on a specific variable. Research hypotheses or the creation of research hypotheses involves the construction or creation of variables that can be used to test hypotheses and then actually making statements about the relationship between independent and dependent variables such that these can be tested by the collection and analysis of data. This slide should look familiar from the Grounded Research Lecture. Here we look at the category called deviance, defined as a violation of normative aspects of social life, or simply breaking the rules. The concept that is, the, the lower level abstraction derived from observations might be traffic violations, a specific form of rule breaking, and an operational indicator of a traffic violation might be running a red light. So as we create measurements to test our theories, an important step is the operationalization of those concepts such that the concepts become variables. Variables, of course, are then aspects that vary. As you know from the prior week's readings, we have independent and dependent variables. Indicators or values on variables are the concrete actual measurements. So, for example, gender, male or female, age, 10, 15 years of age. Indicators or values of traffic violations might be Full stop looks both ways, stops, slows down, or completely runs through the traffic sign. Levels of measurement are extremely important as you begin to think through the design of a questionnaire and the administration of a questionnaire, especially linking that design to some form of data analysis. So typically, we think in terms of nominal, ordinal, interval, ratio. The key distinction here is discrete or continuous. Discrete refers to categories that are closed and finite, such as political party, Democrat, Republican. Continuous is a numerical scale in which the values or the possibility of values are infinite. The, the key, the key uh, indicator is whether or not you can add, subtract, multiply, and divide. The text or intro text identifies four levels, nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio as a practical matter in an intro text. I've collapsed here interval and ratio. Nominal, again, the classification into categories such as a political party, religion, or gender. Ordinal is the classification into a category plus a ranking. So it means greater than or less than the order of crossing the finish line in the New York Stock Exchange. It might be the ranking class, or it might be social class to the extent that these are rankings in some kind of logical ordering. Interval ratio involves the use of actual numbers. A ratio scale differs from an interval scale in that it has a true absolute zero. So summarizing these basic characteristics, nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio, 
nominal are categories such as sex, sex, race, religion, and marital status. The operations or data analysis tools used with nominal data are counting or comparing frequencies, such as the scale used on uh, digital use of digital technology. Ordinal is the classification into categories plus a ranking of the categories with respect to each other. So income, high, medium, low, social class, high, medium, or low. Interval would be like attitude or opinion scales where the possibilities are one, agree completely, four, totally disagree. It's a fixed measurement unit but has no absolute zero point. Another kind of interval measure would be a, a thermometer or the temperature. The most, the richest source of information is always a ratio scale, such as age, the number of children, or income. It is a, has fixed measurement units, quantifiable fixed measurement units, and an absolute zero. With especially ratio scales, all of the, all of the mathematical operations can be performed, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and means. So at this point in, in your journey through social research methods, it's good to memorize these. Commit the terms to memory and make them yours, especially this week as you create your own survey instrument.